welcome to lecture 7 of mechanics of materials course. The last lecture we saw what the meaning of the stress components are and how they are related to the direction of the forces that come on various phase of the cube. For example, we saw that the 9 components of the stress represented in the stress cube basically for the positively oriented planes okay. We saw that sigma xx will be the force acting on the on this phase along the x direction sigma x z will be this stress this force acting the phase with E x as the normal along this direction and so on okay. We also saw what happens when the uh, tra coordinate system transforms okay. For example, if you write the components of stress with respect to E x E y E z basis vectors and if I rotate this by an anti clockwise direction to E x star E y star E z star we derive the relationship between sigma x star x star x star y star and sigma y star y star as this. In general we said that sigma star would be q sigma q transpose q sigma ok q transpose sigma q we said we saw that sigma star would be q transpose sigma q ok. From this relationship we specialize to a plane state of stress and derive this equations. We also saw that uh, uh, this set of uh, 3 equations this set of 3 equations represents that of the equation of a circle. We in fact we wrote that uh, uh, sigma x star x star minus sigma x x plus sigma y y by 2 the whole square plus sigma x star y star the whole square is equal to r square where r is square root of sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 the whole square plus sigma x y the whole square. So, basically we saw that this represents the equation of a circle ok that is where we stopped. Now, let us go ahead and see how to draw that circle given sigma x x sigma uh, y y and sigma x y ok. So, we saw that let us assume sigma x x is 10 sigma x y is 5 and sigma y y is 2 ok. Now, how do you draw the Mohr circle? The question is to draw the Mohr circle for this stress state. Stress state ok. So, if I were to represent this in in terms of a stress cube, if I were to represent this stress state in terms of a stress cube, it will be represented in the x y plane as this. This is x, this is y, sigma x x is 10, this will be 10, sigma y y is x y is 5, so this will be 5, this will be 5, this is positive, so I draw all in terms of the positive values dash indicates the direction of these stresses in terms of the positive values ok and sigma x y y y would be this is 2 and this will also be 2 ok. This is a representation of the stress state in terms of the stress cube. Now, I want to draw the same stress state in terms of a Mohr circle ok. The x axis of the Mohr circle represents the normal stresses. In the last class we saw what normal stresses and what shear stresses were. The diagonal terms is called as the normal stress, the off diagonal terms is called as the shear stress ok. So, basically now the x axis of the Mohr circle is normal stress sigma x x or sigma y y and the y axis is sigma x y ok. Now, let us mark sigma x x this is 10 and sigma y y is 2. So, this is this is 2 and sigma x x is 10 that represent the sigma 
x x point and that represents the sigma ok the x axis of the most circle represents sigma x x or sigma y y or the normal stresses and the y axis represents sigma x y. Now, let us mark the point sigma x x on the x axis. So, that will be 10 next let us mark the sigma y y which is 2 on the axis. So, this is 2 and now the question is how do I draw sigma x y at sigma i x x or sigma y y point. We saw that the most circle the state of stress represented by the most circle is from sigma x x and sigma x y ok. So, at sigma x x if sigma x y is positive you go up by 5 units ok. So, that is 5 say you have to go up in at the point where you mark sigma x x ok. Now, in sigma x y y point in sigma y y point the same uh, 5 units has to be drawn down. Has to be drawn down because we saw in the last class that you get sigma y y by a rotation of 90 degrees and hence when we did alpha plus pi by 2 we saw that the sign of sigma x y will change right and hence we will it, it has to come down. Now, the straight line joining these two points would be the diameter of the circle. This is going to be the diameter of the circle wherein this point would be sigma x x plus sigma y y by 2 which is 6 that point would be 6 right that is sigma x x plus sigma y y by 2. Now, you have to complete the circle with this 6 comma 0 as the center point and with the radius as the this radius of the circle r is going to be square root of 10 minus 2 by 2 whole square plus 5 square which is square root of 16 plus 25 which will be square root of 41 ok. So, basically now if I were to complete the circle I will get something like this ok. So, you will get a circle like this. So, now the important points are the intersects of this circle with the x axis this point and this point where the shear stress is 0 you will find that sigma x x and sigma y y are the maximum and minimum values respectively. So, what will this value be? This value will be 6 plus r and this value would be 6 minus r ok. To analytically find the maximum values of normal stresses of interest. <laughs>